polycystic ovarian syndrome has become one of the most common hormonal disorders in women. Out of every five women of reproductive ages, one female is found to have PCOD. Thus, Nikayo TV has brought to you necessary information about this disorder that every woman suffering from PCOS must know. But before that, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share our video. What's PCOS? Polycystic ovarian syndrome is a set of symptoms due to elevated androgens, male hormones in women like irregular or no menstruation, heavy menstrual bleeding, excessive body and facial hair, acne, pelvic pain, difficulty in getting pregnant, patches of thick, darker, velvety skin and associated conditions include type 2 diabetes, obesity, obstructive sleep apnea, heart diseases, mood disorders, endometrial cancer, etc. Let us see some warning signs or symptoms for PCOS. First is irregular menstrual cycle. Second is weight gain, altered mood or excessive sweating, etc. Third is too much facial and body hair. Fourth, acne on face, chest and upper back. Thinning hair on scalp or male pattern baldness. Next is darkening of skin along neck, in groin and underneath breasts. Or skin tags small flaps of skin or we may say creases of skin in armpits or neck. Now let us see how can PCOD or PCOS be diagnosed. Medical history, examination, blood tests and ultrasounds are used to diagnose PCOS. So a, a diagnosis can be made when at least two out of the three of the follow following are met. So first are ovaries. 12 or more follicles visible on at least one ovary as seen in an ultrasound or the size of the ovary or ovaries is increased. Second is androgens, high levels of male hormones in the blood, hyperandrogenism or symptoms suggesting high levels of male hormones like facial hair, acne, etc. And lastly, menstrual problems, lack of menstrual bleeding, menstrual irregularity, lack of ovulation, etc. So here is a blood test report of a patient suffering from PCOS showing high levels of free testosterone and DHEAS. As you can see, the biological reference ranges from 9 to 58 for age group but she has 97.5 nanogram per deciliter which is very high similarly for dheas we have 324.1 microgram per deciliter but it should be 321 at the maximum now this is an ultrasound of the patient showing bulky ovaries of about 12.55 cc and 8.20 cc with the presence of follicles or cysts on them. Now friends, let's see the causes, the cause behind PCOS. So first is hormonal imbalance. High levels of testosterone interrupt the normal flow of female hormones. Second, genetics. Increased androgen production or insulin resistance may be heredity. Third is inflammation. Ovaries produce more androgen with increased inflammation. And lastly, we have diet. Poor nutrition can lead to obesity, which leads to insulin resistance, which is a direct cause of PCOS. Now, let's see what actually happens. Now, each month, a collection of multiple eggs start to mature in a woman's ovaries, but usually, only one becomes mature or dominant. In women with PCOS, because of high insulin levels which interrupt the growth of eggs, follicles stop growing or arrest and become atratic, 
remaining as small cystic areas seen on ultrasound. Since no egg matures or is released, ovulation does not occur, so no menstruation occurs and the hormone progesterone is not made. Instead, the small arrested or atretic follicles produce male hormones which contribute to the symptoms of PCOS. Now, let's see the ways to manage particular symptoms of PCOS. First is irregular periods or irregular menstruation. Hormonal contraceptions like low dose oral pills, progesterone, hormonal implants or vaginal rings can be used. Second is excessive hair. Vaccine, laser hair removal etc. can be used or reducing androgens through anti-androgen drugs or insulin sensitizing medications. Third is acne. For that topical preparations can be used. Antibiotics reducing androgens also reduces acne and isotretinoin can be used. Then fertility. Weight management. Second is monitoring ovulation using ovulation kits available in the market and using medicines which induce ovulation. Lastly, dealing with depression and anxiety, talking to doctor, friends, relatives and using antidepressant drugs. Now let us see the general treatment for PCOD or PCOS. First is healthy lifestyle, controlling weight, Eating balanced diet and exercising regularly are a key to treat PCOS. Second, hormone therapy. Trying medicines like metformin or clomiphene which help in ovulation. Third, are regular checkups. They are important for catching complications like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, cancer, heart diseases etc and in extreme cases laparoscopic ovarian drilling it is a surgical treatment to trigger ovulation in which la laser is used to destroy portions of ovary but friends as you know allopathic medicines do have side effects so you need not consume pills PCOD or PCOS can be cured completely by simple home remedies which we will surely bring in our next video. So here are some do's and don'ts that you need to follow if you are a PCOD patient. So let's see the do's. Focus on foods with a low glycemic load. Fruits, cherries, grapefruits, apple, pears, berries should be included in your diet. Vegetables, most vegetables except potatoes should be taken. Lean meats and fatty fishes which are high in omega-3 should be taken. Best is salmon fish and include flex seeds, cinnamon, walnuts, almonds, drumsticks, green leafy vegetables etc. in your diet. Now let's see the don'ts. Avoid dairy. It raises testosterone level. Next is avoid gluten. It causes inflammation and is often a high GI food. Processed foods, junk foods, fast foods cause, high, cause a spike in your insulin. So this should be avoided. Soy is a hormone disruptor and can delay ovulation. So you need to avoid soy products. Also, you must take no caffeine, sugar, alcohol and fried foods should be completely avoided. Have patience and do your best. PCOD or PCOS is curable but it takes time to heal. So have faith in yourself and take no stress so as to maintain cortisol levels in your blood. So friends, this is the end of our video and if you liked it, do like, share and comment. Our next video will be on home remedies for PCOS. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel Nikayo TV. Thank you and see you in our next video.